Hello, my name is Dwayne Blair, and welcome to the NSTA. Today we're going to take a look at a quick fix on how coaches can help players get better on their outside edge. When we look at a hockey skate, we've got two edges. We've got our inside edge and our outside edge. Inside edge for most players is pretty easy. Right? They, they skate off their inside edge when they're forward skating, but the, our, both of our edges are so important. And that outside edge oftentimes is neglected, and it's a more difficult edge to learn, so a lot of times players don't want to use it. An easy way to work on that outside edge is separating edges. And what I mean by that is when you're doing drills or you're warming up at the beginning of practice, working on just your inside edge first, even one leg at a time, and then using the same thing, but now working on the outside edge one leg at a time. So if you set up a set of cones uh, randomly around the ice, let's say we'll, I'll just use these two cones for instance, but you can have a zigzag pattern kind of all the way you know, down the ice on that side or up the boards. But as you're coming around, just using that one foot, and we've done videos on this before, but using that inside edge, coming around, and then inside edge. And when we look at the outside edge, a lot of times players don't feel comfortable on it. And one of the biggest reasons why is their body position. So making sure, again, we go back to that hockey player position with our shoulders over our knees, knees over our toes. And the one thing they have a real hard time with is leaning on that edge and trusting that edge. A lot of them stand straight up, and what happens when they go around that cone, you'll notice my skate's gonna slide a little bit. So as I come around here, my, I'm here and I'm, my skate's sliding out almost like I'm stopping because I'm not leaning on that edge. And having players going through this nice and easy and, and telling them they can go as wide as they want. With an inside edge, we can cut really tight because it's easy to lean on that, on that skate. With an outside edge, a lot of times it's a lot harder. So they're not gonna be able to go tighter on that cone. So we're gonna have them go wider. So they can go as wide as they want, but they're gonna try to get on that outside edge. And if they're like this, perfect. If you have a player that goes around like this and kind of taps their foot down, no problem. As they're getting better at it, then they can lift that foot up longer and longer and longer. Oftentimes we'll see their weight off a little bit and their foot that's in the air. So if I'm doing my outside edge here, my inside foot close to the cone will be on the ice. My outside foot will be off the ice. And that outside foot tends to go in front of the body. And when that foot goes in front of the body, now my weight goes back on my heel. I want that foot behind my body, so behind my other skate. So now my weight's over top of that skate and I have my shoulders over my knees and my knees over my toes. So when we're coming around, nice and easy, we're gonna lean in. My skate that's in the air goes behind me and now I lean and come right around that, that cone. But the more players can get on that outside edge, the better they're gonna be at all their skills. So if we think of a glide turn with both feet on the ice, now that foot's gonna be on the ice and I'm gliding on my outside edge and my inside edge. Oftentimes, especially with young players, and I'm sure you coaches out there see this all the time, they'll come in like this and this foot will just slide on the ice or you'll see one leg on the ice. You'll see them lift that foot up and not even touch it down until they get around. So emphasizing to them to lean on that foot. So lean on that outside edge. And if we think of a glide turn, when a player's going around, Oftentimes players will end up tightening up. So they'll get really close together with their feet. Everything gets really close together as they're coming around instead of widening their base. So as they come around that cone, just widening that base a little bit. And the easy explanation there is better balance, right? More control as you're coming through. And now it's easier to get that crossover over as you're finishing up. So as you come around here, you're gonna widen that base. Inside foot's out in front on that outside edge and then we can cross and then take off the other way. As players get more advanced and are getting better on their outside edge, then we can challenge them a little bit more. And there's a lot of drills out there that, that coaches can use to help challenge that outside edge a little bit more. One simple one that we use a lot is just riding the outside edge, making basically C's, but catching the opposite outside edge as you come back around. So as I come in here, I'm, my I'm on my outside edge here, and then right away, outside edge coming back. Outside edge coming back, outside edge coming back. So the whole time I'm riding my outside edge, what a lot of players will do is come here, Put their foot down, inside edge, then outside edge. And then come around, inside edge, then outside edge. We want them to catch outside edge to outside edge. So as they're coming in, outside edge, outside edge, outside edge, outside edge. Again, need to have good body, or control the body, right? We don't want our body flailing back and forth. And we're always gonna lead with our head, shoulders, and our stick. So wherever I'm going, if I'm going this way, my head, shoulders, and stick are going this way, and then I'm gonna switch switch, switch as we're coming through on that outside edge. So as you're going side to side, leaning on that edge, trusting that edge. And again, this would be a little bit more advanced, but leaning on that edge and then, you know, using one edge at a time as we're going through. When coaches are working on edge work with their team or their players, 
it's really important as players are learning how to use their edges to single out each edge. So as you're going through working on just your inside edge on your right foot, then inside edge on your left foot, and then outside edge on your right foot, outside edge on your left foot. And the more you can spend time singling out each edge, the better the player's gonna get on those edges. They're gonna have a better understanding of how their body moves through movements, and they're also gonna have better control on those edges as they're performing skills and drills. Then once you bring them together for a crossover or a glide turn, or whenever those edges are gonna be required, the better they're gonna be at performing those skills.